However, there is much that is not in this statement. There is nothing for the thousands of Scots who have had medical treatments, tests or operations cancelled about when and how services will get back up to speed. There is nothing for those who have already postponed huge life events like weddings for a year about when they can walk down the aisle in front of family and friends. And there is nothing about when measures like social distancing will end and we can do something as basic as give a loved one a hug. The statement and the accompanying documents relate almost exclusively to the time between now and the 26th of April where the First Minister intends to move the whole country to level three restrictions, pandemic permitting, which to be clear, under current rules, would still stop people leaving their council area. But there is nothing about what happens after the 26th of April. This isn't a route map out of COVID, it is a holding document for the next eight weeks. And everyone understands that we might not be able to give people absolute certainty but they were expecting the First Minister to give them some kind of hope. Many will have tuned in today precisely because they were expecting to receive that. They didn't tune in today expecting to be told to tune in again in three weeks' time, and they have a right to be disappointed. First Minister, why won't you let the people of Scotland know the plan to get them fully out of lockdown and back to their lives? First Minister. Uh, firstly, on... NHS operations and treatments, NHS remobilisation is underway. The Health Secretary keeps Parliament updated on that. I'll ask her to write to uh, members to give a further update on that uh, as soon as uh, she's able to. Um, on weddings, I would hope that as we go into uh, the period after uh, the end of April, we will be able to see uh, weddings uh, with greater numbers of people, although possibly uh, in, in likelihood still restricted uh, taking place. Um, I. As I have always done, I'm trying to be frank with people, I, I think we can all be much more hopeful today than we have been able to be throughout this entire pandemic, not just because we have evidence that lockdown is suppressing the virus, but that we have growing evidence that we have an alternative to lockdown restrictions.